you know, doesn't, when you fall in love with somebody, you don't have to have a reason. It just, something inside of you just tells you that, oh, this is it. This is it. I saw the organ, and I heard it, and I just fell in love with it. The pipes really love speaking from up this high in the room. They're, they're getting lots of support from the barrel vault overhead, which helps them just to project right down the nave very efficiently. No two organs are alike. And so it, there's a lot of trial and error involved. You know, you have to try out each stop individually. They're all meant for, for different uh, applications. And so it's a little bit of a learning process. You figure out, you know, what is good for this given situation, what might be too much, too little. But what gives the voice to the holy name of Jesus Cathedral's massive pipe organ? To find out, the craftsman who built the organ from CB Fist Company in Gloucester, Massachusetts, took us inside the massive instrument. As you can see, we're tucked right up under the barrel vault, way up high. We're approximately 65 feet off of the nave floor right now. There are 3,737 pipes in the organ. And this is a lead, hammered lead pipe. This tapered pipe is made of hammered tin. You can see very different in appearance, not only the shape, but the material. Pipes are also made of an alloy, or blend of the metals, lead and tin. Pipes can also be made of wood. Yeah, voicers blow on their pipes quite a bit. Each pipe plays one note. Small pipes play high notes. Large pipes play low notes. The length of the pipe determines the pitch, okay? So this pipe here, for instance, is about four feet long. So this plays what we would call four foot C. The pipe an octave up from that pipe is, guess what, two feet long. It's half as long. So a pipe playing an octave below this four foot C is eight feet long. And that's that biggest pipe down there. The sound each pipe makes depends on what the pipe is made of and its shape. The, the pipes that are 32 feet long play the lowest pitches of the organ. The pitch of 32 foot C is 16 hertz. That is to say 16 vibrations per second. And that pitch is below the range of human hearing. So you, you don't hear it so much as you feel it. The pipe organ is a wind instrument. Giant fans fill a wind chest which then sends air through the pipes. When a voicer voices a pipe, the first thing he does is to set the opening of the mouth at the correct height. And it's cut up with a planer knife like this. Back at our workshop in Gloucester, I would have cut this pipe up, just making a series of slices back and forth until I got it to the height that I wanted. So the wind enters at the toe. It's then formed into a sheet that, that comes out through that slit. And the voicer's job really is to aim that wind sheet so that when it comes out through the windway, it strikes the lower edge of the upper lip in such a fashion that it sets the air column inside the body to vibrating. The pipes range in size from 32 feet long and big enough for you to, to, to live in. Um, down to the size of a pencil. So, so, you know, you have pipes that weigh 300 pounds and pipes that weigh, you know, an ounce. The actual in-workshop construction took probably eight months, and then it's going to take, well, it took two months to install it physically, and it will take approximately eight months to do the final voicing. That might be a little too strong. At first, we do like even out the volume. I think it's a little quick. So that's first thing I listen for. 
then sometimes a little bit too stringy, a little bit too flutey. We call that like some, you know, the voice, the pipe is too quick or too slow. Probably what I'm looking forward to most is actually hearing this organ accompany the congregation. The hymns, uh, the, the liturgy, I think that that's going to be the most moving experience of, the, of using the instrument. Mm -hmm.